In this edition of Back in History, we present to you the profile of the president-elect of Liberia, his name Joseph Bokai. We present his birth, education, struggles to shrug off from inherited poverty and become a man of his own, his participation in politics, his time as vice president to President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, his earlier contest for the office of president, his defeat at the time, and his eventual emergence as the president-elect of Liberia in a keenly contested election that resulted in a runoff. On Friday 17th November 2023, he was declared as the winner of an election that is described by many as the most keenly contested election in Liberia's electoral history in 20 years. Welcome to this edition of Back in History. Joseph Nyuma Bukai was born on 30th November 1944. He was born in the remote village of Wosonga in Foya district, Liberia. His parents were not blessed with material wealth. They were subsistence farmers who basically grew what the family would eat and sold only a fraction which could barely afford anything in return. His parents were also not lettered. They could not read nor write, but they had a firm grip on the discipline of their children and repeatedly drummed into their ears the benefits of formal education. Joseph Bokai attended primary and high schools in Liberia and Sierra Leone and graduated from the College of West Africa, CWA. He then sought admission into the University of Liberia. He was offered the admission to study for a degree in business administration. Being from a poor home, funding for his university education was certainly going to pose a serious issue for him, but Joseph was determined to brave the odds and see to the completion of his studies. He had to engage in many jobs in between to enable him raise money to fund his education. During his campaign, Joseph launched his website www.jobukai2023.com and in the said website, the following is said of him, quote, as someone born in poverty, Joe Bokai has worked hard most of his life, carving a career for himself in the process. At College of West Africa, he worked as a janitor where he rose to become assistant dean of boys. He paid his way through school by also working in the business office, selling books and uniforms. During vacations, he remained at the dormitory to work for his upkeep and school requirements for the following school term. End of quote. The odds against him were enormous, but Joseph surmounted them, and in 1972, he successfully graduated with a degree in business administration. He is also an alumnus of the Kansas State University in the United States of America. Having graduated from the university, Joseph Bokai went on to work in both public and private sectors. From 1973 to 1980, he worked as a resident manager of the Liberia Produce Marketing Corporation, LPMC. And from 1980 to 1982, he worked as the managing director of the same institution, having performed creditably in his previous assignment. Joseph was politically conscious and involved in the politics of his country early in his life. From 1983 to 1985, he served as Minister of Agriculture under Master Sergeant Samuel Doe, who was the President of Liberia at the time. While serving as Minister of Agriculture, Joseph Bokai chaired the West African Rice Development Association, which was made up of 15 African countries at the time. In 1992, he was the Managing Director of the Liberia Petroleum Refinery Company. LPRC. He later served as the board chairman of the Liberia Wood Management Corporation. Later on, he worked as a consultant to the World Bank in Washington, D.C., in the United States of America, and also founded a firm dealing in agricultural equipment and consultancy. Joseph had become well known among the people of Liberia through his private businesses and through his participation in politics. He was at home with the happenings in his country and well aware of the yearnings and demands of his people. 
Like many other Liberians, Joseph had seen the worst of Liberia, which happened during the war years when Liberia was brought to its knees by warlords and merchants of death and destruction. He saw when the country suffered the first war and the second war during the reign of Charles Taylor. He thus considered himself to be in a good position to play a pivotal role in the governance of Liberia with a view to bringing succor to the long-suffering people of his country. He then took active part in politics at the cessation of hostilities and the brightening of the horizon for political activities and democratic elections in Liberia. He was found worthy and selected to serve as running mate to Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. Election was conducted and Ellen Johnson Sirleaf emerged as the winner of the presidential election. With the victory of Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, Joseph thus became the vice president of Liberia, having campaigned as running mate to her. As vice president, he was the president of the Liberian Senate and presided over plenary sessions of that body for two days per week. He also performed supervisory functions over a number of institutions and agencies of government, including the Liberia National Lotteries Loto, the Liberia Marketing Association LMA, the Liberia Agency for Community Empowerment LACE, and the National Commission on Disarmament, Demobilization, Resettlement, and Reintegration NCDDRR. Before serving as Vice President, Joseph Bokai offered consultancy services to a number of institutions including serving as Chief Technical Advisor on Agricultural Policy to the Minister of Agriculture. He also consulted for the World Bank in Uganda in 1994 and Tanzania in 1996. Joseph worked with President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf for the years of her tenure from 2006 and towards the end of the tenure, Joseph announced his intention to run for the Liberian presidency, which was scheduled for 10th October 2017. Joseph Bukai ran for the office of presidency in 2017 but lost the election to George Way, Liberia's award-winning footballer of all time. More so, there was no indication of Joseph enjoying the support of his boss and president, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. George's candidacy resonated more among the youth population who thronged out en masse to cast their votes for him. Joseph lost out, but George Way won the election. But Joseph still had an eye at the presidency and was ready to contest at the next round of presidential election. He contested the 2023 election with incumbent president George Way. He campaigned vigorously and had strong criticism of the government of George Way. On November 17, 2023, he was declared president-elect of Liberia after a keenly contested election. Joseph has the onerous task of leading Liberia to transformation and development the country, having seen the worst of its moments in the first and second wars that left scars on the sands of Liberia. It is many years after the war, but much still needs to be done to secure sustainable recovery and democracy for Liberia. As noted earlier, the election was closely contested, with both leading candidates showing popularity among the electorates. Joseph Bokai defeated George Way by 50.89% votes only. Notwithstanding the slim margin, President George Way accepted the result and called to congratulate President-elect Joseph Bokai. This action has been described by many as unusual in the continent and has been well appreciated by several persons. In his message of felicitation, Nigeria's President Bola Ahmed Tunubu congratulated the President-elect and also appreciated President George Way for his spirit of sportsmanship. Joseph Bokai is, at the time of his election, 78 years old. He is married to Katumo Kata, whom he married in 1972, and their marriage is blessed with three sons 
and one daughter. The president-elect shall be sworn into office on the 22nd day of January 2024 when President George Way's tenure would have folded to conclusion. The president-elect will be sworn in with his deputy, Senator Jeremiah Cole. Thanks for watching this edition of Back in History and do remember to subscribe to the channel or follow the page for regular notification on every new video. I remain your friend and host, Ekemini Udim.